Number six is that if you want istiqama, make dua. Make a lot of dua. Mm -hmm. And there's there's so many beautiful dua. We can mention only two. The one that's mentioned in the beginning of Surah Ali Imran. This is uh, verse 8, I believe, of Surah Ali Imran. Rabbana la tuzir qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana. Wahab lana min ladunka rahma. Our Lord, do not allow our hearts to deviate after you have guided us to the truth. Mm -hmm. And bring us, bestow upon us from you your mercy. Innaka anta al-wahab. You are the one who gifts gifts the mercy or gifts the, the, the blessings upon us. Mm -hmm. And so make this dua. But more importantly, this dua, if you look at it and you see the tafsir, it brings to our attention what's mentioned in the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam from many companions that one of the most frequent dua of the Prophet wasallam, and this can be an action item for us uh, and for our viewers as well, inshallah ta'ala, learn this dua and make it on a frequent basis, mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Because it shows your gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This dua is, Ya muqallib al qulub thabbit qalbi ala dinik. O oh Allah, the one who controls the hearts, keep my heart firm upon your faith. We urge viewers to remember this dua and to make it on a frequent basis as the Prophet ﷺ did. To ask Allah, O oh Allah, Allahumma ya muqallib al qulub thabbit qulubana ala dinik. O oh Allah, the one who controls the hearts, keep our hearts firm upon your faith. If the Prophet ﷺ is making this dua, what about us? Mm -hmm. Do we not even, are we not in more need to make this dua? يا مقلب القلوب